Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we are taking the DeLorean DMC-12 down our rally track. Now, I have had great success with the DeLorean as a road car, but I have never taken this thing off-road. So, I've decided that today we're going to be taking the DeLorean down the rally track. I want to see what kind of lap time it can put down. Now, it is a mid-engine rear-wheel drive sports car. So, I don't expect it to knock the... Uh, the Lamborghini off the top of the leaderboard but I'm hoping that the DeLorean is going to do very very well because the weight is in the center so hopefully that should put equal pressure on the wheels and hopefully we'll have a good car. Now if you haven't seen this uh, series before basically what we do each week we will take a different vehicle upgrade it to the top of S1 class now if the vehicle can keep its stock engine and be upgraded to the top of S1 class it will do if it needs the extra PI, then we will go to an engine swap or look for um, additional tuning like a turbo or a supercharger. All the vehicles, however, must keep their stock drivetrain. That means all-wheel drive vehicles, all-wheel drive, front-wheel drive vehicles, front-wheel drive, and rear-wheel drive vehicles will remain rear-wheel drive. And the rally track is actually one that I have made myself. It is basically the first two miles of the gauntlet track. So, um, yeah, let's have a little look what we can do with the DeLorean, though, as far as upgrades. I'm going to go here into the upgrade section. We start off in D class, so it's going to take quite a lot of PI to get this thing up to the top of S1 class. But let's see what we can do. Hopefully that means we've got a lot of room for um, upgrades. Now, I know for a fact that it can't get to the top of S1 class with its stock engine. If we go ahead and put in the 5 litre V10, we already get up to A class. We've got the 7 litre V8. We've got the 7.4 V8 twin turbo and the 3 litre racing V8. Now, as far as horsepower goes, I want the lowest amount of horsepower. And that sounds a bit weird, but uh, the less horsepower we have, the more traction we're actually going to have. And that is the problem that a lot of the front wheel and rear wheel drive vehicles deal with on this series is because they have so much horsepower they struggle a little bit for traction so i'm going to go for the three liter racing v8 um this thing can be converted to all-wheel drive but as per the rules of the series i'm not allowed to we could go ahead and put on a turbo but as i said i are trying to keep that horsepower down so i'm not going to do that on the front, we can go for this uh, horrible looking splitter, although that does provide us with a little bit more downforce, but it's too ugly. I can't put it on. I can't bring myself to put it on. However, the rear wing is going to be vital. It's not hideous. I mean, it's not great, but it's not hideous, but it is going to provide us with a little bit more traction. So we're going to go for that one. All the vehicles in this series are going to be fitted with the rally tyre compound, which is this one, or the off-road tyre compound, I should say, uh, unless they can only be fitted with the off-road race tyre compound. And the reason for this is, I'm doing this series uh, to show you guys some of the best rally cars in Forza Horizon 5, and a lot of the rally courses that you'll take them down are half tarmac, half dirt. So you want a little bit of traction still on the tarmac and uh, the off-road race tire compound here provides the least traction on, uh, on the uh, tarmac. So we're going to go for an in-between tire unless we can't, unless we don't have that option. So we'll go with that. As far as tire widths, we can go ahead and put those to max if we want. Um, we could go ahead and change the tyres, but uh, I think we're going to leave these ones, or the wheels I should say. Drivetrain options, we'll go ahead and put in the race clutch. Um, we're going to put in the race transmission, not going to go for the 7 speed. Not a huge fan of having too many gears because then you're just constantly changing up and down. Um, we'll go for the rally diff, which is right there. 
in break options we want a lot of breaking if we've got a lot of go we need a lot of woe so we're going to go with that um we will go with the off-road springs and dampers that's going to lift our delorean up it kind of looks surprised now that's hilarious i've never seen an off-road delorean in my life before but you learn new things every day uh, we'll go for max weight reduction if the vehicle allows it i think we're going to get away with the pi here um ooh, we might not actually get to the top of s1 class so let's see how we do once we slap these on okay so with the three liter racing v8 we have 500 horsepower uh, 309 pound feet of torque uh, we weigh just shy of two tons uh, so uh, just shy of a ton sorry um, so that's not too bad uh, actually no a ton is 1200 pounds I believe so uh, we're actually just just over two tons uh, so not great to be honest um, but we're not quite at the top of S1 class we're sort of mid-range so the three liter is going to have to come out. We're going to have to go with something with a little bit more horsepower. I'm not going to go for the uh, 7.4 liter. That's got a lot of horsepower. We'll go with the V10, uh, which does sound beautiful, actually. I believe that's out of a Lamborghini. I could be wrong, though. And uh, that means we will have to go in and do a little bit of engine tuning in here. So we'll go ahead and Ooh, that sounds nice uh, so I guess we'll go for the most expensive or, or sorry the best sort of like options first of all and we'll see what kind of PI we're playing with and that might determine whether we need another engine swap or not but I think the DeLorean here is going to be good enough let's have a little look so we're up to 600 horsepower now um we're still quite low in the pi here um but i don't think we're going to get it too much higher to be honest so i'm going to say i'm going to call that good um i'm happy with the pi there we're still rear wheel drive um we now weigh a little bit more than we did previously but we've got a little bit more horsepower and more torque 5.4 liter v10 in there so um yeah I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of tuning on this vehicle and then we will take it to the rally track and see what kind of lap times we can put down. All right, here we go for the DeLorean lap time. It has a 2 minute 05 to beat put down by the Lamborghini and already off the start here, I feel like the DeLorean may have a shot at beating that. It might be the only two wheel drive vehicle we ever take down the track that actually has a chance of beating that time. Let's see what the DeLorean can do. Already very, very promising through these first corners. Very controllable. I am not having to feather the throttle at all. I can just blast this thing around. A little bit slidey on some of these corners, but I mean, it is a rear wheel drive mid-engine sports car. It is struggling a little bit through that water though, obviously because it is so low. Getting it slowed down for the right-hander there. A little bit oversteer through the whole corner in fact drifting the entire corner they can get the back end out around this corner which the DeLorean does absolutely beautiful through that corner now we're onto the bumpy straight let's see how the DeLorean copes with this does it soak up those bumps a little bit bumpy but not uncontrollable the DeLorean handling this course very very nicely Coming up to the hairpin now, it's a tight left-hander, a little bit of uh, wheel spin going into the corner causing some oversteer. But then we're on to the second straight, little jump down there, DeLorean handles that nicely. The brakes in this DeLorean, absolutely fantastic, probably the best of the cars we've seen run so far. Up oh, my favourite section of the track now through the little wiggly section and then it's a medium left hander. We get slowed down nicely for that. This DeLorean is putting down an impressive lap time here and bear in mind we still have two more attempts to beat this. So let's see what we can do. Getting it through that corner nicely. That's probably the most 
difficult corner on the course to get correct and the DeLorean blinks that in the blink of an eye. Then we've got a couple more corners. We are already behind the Lamborghini's time, but let's see what kind of time we can actually put down in this DeLorean. I have missed a few gear changes and there's corners where I could have been a bit better, but it is going to be a 2 minute 18, uh, 2 minute 19, sorry, 0 0.039 for our first lap time in the DeLorean. That is an impressive lap time. Uh, for our rear wheel drive or for our two wheel drive vehicles I should say uh, only a couple of seconds behind the Audi Quattro from the first episode so uh, I think we could definitely definitely beat the Audi Quattro's time at the very least we've got two more attempts let's see what we can do all right attempt number two in the DeLorean I'm going to change up early off the line there we go we've got a little bit less wheel spin a little bit better launch off the line there. This thing accelerates actually off the line incredibly well and handles probably the best of the vehicles we've seen on the tarmac. Getting it slowed down nice and early for these corners here. I'm going to keep it quite high geared through some of the corners just to alleviate a little bit of oversteer. Then we're into the water splash. I'm going to keep to the right where there's a bit less water for us to go through. Then we're onto the big water splash. Nothing I can really do in there. We just have to get the DeLorean through. A little bit wiggly on the exit there, um, but nothing serious. The DeLorean actually moving around a little bit more on this attempt. Not sure where that suddenly come from, but we'll see what we can do with it. Okay, coming into the nice drift corner. I'm going to try not to drift it around there, just to try and pick up a little bit more time. DeLorean is uh, struggling over the bumps a little bit on this attempt, which I didn't notice in the first attempt. But here we go, onto the long straight. Breaking hard at the end there. A little bit wide on the exit, a little bit of a drift and a twitch as well. And we're coming up to the hairpin, getting it slowed down nicely for there. No oversteer though this time, so that was much more control through there. Coming onto the second long straight. Clears the jump nicely and then a little bit wide. I could have braked a little bit earlier for those two corners there. I'm kind of nannying this thing through those two corners. And then we're up the hill. How is it coping up the hill? 100 miles an hour, not too shabby. Most of the cars have been doing about 80 or 90 up there. So the DeLorean has plenty of potential going up the hill. I think most of this course I have been running in fifth possibly change down to fourth in areas just to get a little bit more speed out of it but we'll see what this lap time brings into the last couple of corners here nice little drift through that corner a little bit of oversteer on the exit though we're already behind the Lamborghini's time but can we beat our previous run of 219 I think it's possible let's see what we can do down the hill here gonna have to really put our foot down DeLorean unfortunately we could not actually beat our previous lap time in fact it was slower than our previous lap time um, I think that was mainly because there was a lot of twitches going on in that uh, run there I'm not really sure what that was all about or where that suddenly came from but uh, we've got one attempt left let's see if we can at least make this thing the fastest uh, the fastest two-wheel drive vehicle we've had on the course so far. It has to beat the Ford GT70 with 218, which I think is very, very possible. So let's see what we can do in our final attempt. Okay, here we go for our final run in the DeLorean. Is this going to be our fastest two-wheel drive vehicle? I certainly hope so. I'm a huge fan of this DeLorean. I love the DeLorean in real life. Even though it is a little bit of a lemon vehicle, I think the DeLorean is a really, really cool vehicle. And in Forza, it certainly has some uh, potential. So let's see what we can do with this thing. Hopefully we can beat the Ford GT70's lap time, which is 2.18. We've been getting 2.19 so far, so very, very, very possible. But we're going to have to keep control of the beast if that is going to happen so i'm going to commentate a little bit less and see if i can put down a good lap time we're a little bit on the grass there a bit off the racing line that was my mistake just going to lift off the throttle there a little bit through that corner to try and alleviate the drift hopefully that will make us a little bit faster through there 
then we're up the hill in fifth gear, slowing it down for this corner. We don't need to slow down quite as much as you think for that corner. Going to change down to fourth and down to third actually for the hairpin. There we go, that racing V10 working well with the DeLorean here to power this thing through these corners, slowing it down for the two left-handers, or the two right-handers, my, my mistake. <laughs> when you're trying to drive and commentate at the same time, not the most easy thing to do. Then we're coming up into the shallow left-hander here. Going to change down to fourth, hopefully we can get a little bit more speed. Then we're coming up to the deceptive corner really really hate this corner but the DeLorean seems to work this one out very very uh, clean free there actually then we're coming up to the last couple of corners again going to change down to fourth to try and get what speed we can out of the vehicle that was the Lamborghini's time matched just there so now we've just got the downhill section I think we are going to beat the GT70's time yes we have done it we were only a second behind the Audi Quattro. The Audi Quattro doing a 2.15. We managed to do a 2.16, which is going to put this thing in fourth place above the GT70. Well, let's go and have a look at the leaderboard and see how it racks up to our previous vehicles. And there we have it, the DeLorean DMC-12. That is going to be a fourth place for the DeLorean, just behind the Audi Quattro Sport, a 2 minute 15. I have a good feeling though that the DeLorean, with a little, uh, a little bit more finesse and a few more runs, could have beaten that Audi. But it did beat the GT70, the Pontiac and the Volvo, all two-wheel drive vehicles, making the DeLorean our fastest two-wheel drive vehicle so far, which is an impressive, impressive accomplishment i really like the delorean i think it makes a fantastic road vehicle and it has proven it makes a fantastic rally car as well and um as far as the other vehicles go okay it was 10 seconds slower than the lamborghini but the lamborghini was a purpose-built off-road vehicle had a lot of weight to get through the water and it was all-wheel drive so there's no doubt that the uh, lamborghini was going to beat the delorean but um, I'm very, very happy with today's run. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed it. Um, let me know what vehicles you want to see me do in the future by leaving a comment down below. And if you're enjoying the series and you want to keep up to date with it, make sure you subscribe. Uh, but that's going to do it from me. Thanks all so much for watching. Hopefully you can join us for our next vehicle next week. And I will see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>